Hey guys, welcome back to Casting Deep. Thanks for joining us again. Today we're going to be talking about video games and how that can make your bonds with your children even deeper. Okay, so first of all, I gotta start off by saying I am no counselor, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not anything like that in any sort. I'm just a dad. I'm trying to build bonds with my children and with my wife as a husband. And that's pretty much it. Um, today we're going to be focusing on parenting and how video games don't actually have to be a tool of destruction for your child's future, but can actually be a tool to help them learn how to use technology to develop bonds rather than technology using them. So first we're going to start off with just spending time. This is just that simple. Spending time with your kid. Imagine. So they don't want to go build something. They don't want to go play with Legos. They just want to sit in front of a screen and talk. Right? Sometimes you've got a teenager or something like that. I've heard that it can be difficult to talk to them. But the power of a dad coming to sit down next to his son or his daughter if she's into video games. That's, that's coming up, right? That's, that statistic is rising. To sit down with his daughter and just say, you know, hey, how's your day going? Boom, let's play some Super Smash Bros. And how amazing can the bonds be just by spending that 15, 20 minutes, who knows, you might get lost in the game, spend a few hours because they're killing you and they're better than you because kids are way better at video games. And, you know, then you learn how to dominate them and, you know, you're like, eat that, you know, and then they're like, no, you eat it, right? I don't know. To me, even when things get crazy, your kid starts crying because you smashed them at Mario Kart like 10 times in a row. Guilty. <laughs> but anyways, just spending time. It's that simple. If they want to sit down in front of a screen and play a video game, don't get angry and say, no, that's stupid. Just sit down with them and play the video game. That easy. I think it's great advice. <laughs> and I think it's going to make wonders, uh, do wonders for your relationship with your child. Next, we're going to talk about a counselor. I don't remember his name, but I remember listening to a podcast through Family Life Today. The story was he, he has clients that he counsels with his PhD through video games. That gave me this idea of spending time and developing the third thing I'm gonna talk about. So we're gonna apply what the counselor does with these, chil with these children and these probably adults that do video game counseling. And he just asks them questions like, how was your day? Oh, how'd that break up? How are you handling the breakup? You know, like all those things. So rather than a prof a counselor asking your child all these questions, why not we step into that role? If you can sit down with your child and say, hey, you know, how was your day going? Let's play some Mario Kart and talk about it, you know? If they say, you know, if they had a rough day, but you know they like video games, you can, they get in the car after school and you see your daughter's down, but she likes to play Super Smash Bros or whatever. And then say, well, well, hey, you know, let's, let's go play some video games and talk about it. Use it as a tool. Don't let it use your child. I think that's the key. So really, you're applying two parts of the three things I talked about today. First part, spending time. Second part is sitting down and having deep, intentional conversations while you're playing those video games. And you'll get to know your child better, especially if they've already made these connections of coping through video games and you're having those conversations about their day. It's just going to make things even better. So... I'm not, like I said, I'm not a psychologist or anything like that, but I thought I'd share this helpful tip and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button, hit that like button, ding, 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 ding. And if you hit the dislike button, I don't even care because it's whatever it is. Uh, if you are wondering what you could do for me, um, no, I don't want money. <laughs> if you're thinking that's what I was gonna say. Uh, just pray for me as I try to minister to the kids in our neighborhood. And um, we've been playing basketball, having a lot of fun. I'm just trying to get to a place where I can minister to them a little bit better. And um, I think I've developed bonds with them playing basketball. And now just using that influence in their lives, not to just convert them on the spot, but just to, to be a steady male influence as a, with a Christian presence. So just, yeah, pray for me as I go through that. I appreciate it, family and friends. I don't know what else to say. I enjoyed making this video though, it was fun.